right now on Sunrise. A sitting Minnesota lawmaker weighing his options, resign or stay in office. Representative John Thompson has been found guilty of obstruction, what his sentence looks like, and will this push him to resign? Officers shoot a man dead in California. Now it's sparking protests over injustice right here at home. It's humid if you're stepping outside. Air quality alerts remain, but I'll let you know when things start to improve a bit. We're less than 24 hours away from the Olympics opening ceremony, and with COVID cases on the rise, athletes are ready to do anything to compete. A family adventure awaits this week, but you don't have to go too far for this scavenger hunt. The Nature Quest helping you explore our parks with challenges and prizes along the way. It's Thursday, July 22nd. Care 11 Sunrise starts now. What, what decade is that from? Let's <laughs> the 80s. The Absolutely 80s. the 80s. Okay, the heat so. is on. Look at that. Temperatures reaching 90 degrees and higher for the next few days. Text us one song. Text us one song that represents how you're feeling about the heat wave. 763-797-7215. Hey, but we're bringing things to 2021 a little yeah. later on in the show. We have Carolyn Naomi Yay. here going to perform for us. So happy to have her here. We're moving our Friday music mania up to Thursday yep. mm -hmm. for a special appearance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're excited about that. And for sure. we're lucky that there's not any rain above us, guys. No, not above us. But unfortunately, well, unfortunately, good news, actually, there is some areas that do see uh, some rain above them and mainly just a few light showers. But uh, right now, just clouds lingering above the Minneapolis area. You have some mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies. Clouds kind of breaking a little bit. 71 dew points in the upper 60s. It is humid, so you will notice the humidity on the skin. I've been saying it all morning. Winds will be picking up out of the south later on this afternoon. So on radar here, you can see those areas that are finding a little bit of rain this morning, mainly in uh, north and west of the Twin Cities area in the central part of the state in the far northern area of the state. Winds coming out of the south, five to about 15 miles per hour. Twins second on the Angels, first pitch 710. Temps will be in the mid 80s by first pitch. will be kind of cooling off a little bit by post game, low 80s under clear skies. All right, thank you guys. We're taking a live look right now at 35 in the Wake Bear Lake area. Roads look like uh, a little wet, like maybe they got some rain in that area. Doesn't seem to be impacting traffic at all. Uh, roads metro wide looking good too. We will take a closer look at that coming up. Well, breaking overnight, major police presence off the exit ramp for I-35 East at Shepherd Road in St. Paul. There are multiple officers and squad cars working around the area. As you can see, we are working to find out more information and we'll have updates as soon as we know more. This morning, we're waiting to hear if State Representative John Thompson will resign from his seat or stay in office. It is the latest twist for the lawmaker who was found guilty of obstruction of justice by Hennepin County jury. Now, Hannah Conway joins us with more on his charges and what Thompson had to say about his future while leaving the courtroom. Hannah. G and Chris, the guilty verdict stems from a disturbance with police at North Memorial Hospital in 2019, which happened before he was elected to the state house. The Democratic lawmaker faces probation and a small fine for the misdemeanor. However, calls for his resignation from Governor Walls and other lawmakers come from his previous domestic assault allegations, which he was not convicted of. Despite what lawmakers are saying in the guilty verdict for obstruction, Thompson still has not resigned. So will he resign? For the first time in weeks, Thompson spoke to members of the media while leaving the courtroom yesterday. I'm not a criminal. You guys are looking at a man in a certain suit and a tie. I'm not a criminal. I've never been a criminal. And so I ask you with just, just with like a little bit of respect for me and my family to just let us like have a few days and, and, and we'll, we'll make a decision. His lawyer clarified saying the decision has to do with whether or not he will resign. Republicans say they are ready to file an ethics complaint against Thompson. However, DFL House Speaker Melissa Hortman says without an ethics complaint, she would not take action until Thompson's court proceedings end. A big decision for Thompson coming up. Thank you, Hannah. Now there's a renewed push to get everyone vaccinated against COVID-19. The Delta variant is spreading fast. State health leaders say it makes up 75% of new cases here. Some are even suggesting we wear masks again as another layer of protection from this contagious strain. 
So let's take a closer look at those new infections now. MDH reported 278 new cases yesterday. Again, Chris says that 75% of those involved the, the, of those cases involve the Delta variant. And when you look at the two week moving average, this dotted line here, you can see that while it is still low, there's a slight curve upward, which is not what we want to see. Again, vaccinations are helpful in protection against that variant. For now, Minnesotans 16 and older who have at least a shot are at 68 percent. Still, it is remaining pretty stagnant. More big stories coming at you in your morning rush. Hiawatha Golf Course is staying 18 holes for now. A plan bringing it down to nine did not pass a Minneapolis Park Board. Community members are fighting to preserve its legacy. Hiawatha was one of the first courses in Minnesota to allow black golfers. Redesigned supporters say the change is better for the environment. You'll have to wait a little longer for that fishing trip up north. The White House just extended non-essential travel restrictions to Canada and Mexico to at least August 21st. It's because of the rapid spread of the Delta COVID variant. Target is ramping up its beauty section. The mega retailers deal with in-store ultra beauty shops is set to start opening next month. 16 Minnesota stores will have shops just like these. More are expected later in the year.